Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or Chris and we are going to do a ton of things today during this shade video. For one, we are going to use the Yaki uh, Slant OC, which is sort of billed as their top aggressive uh, razor. Their words, they say skill hand, skilled hands only. And I'll, I'll roll in a few pictures of that when I get to it. Also, we're gonna use a soap that has not been released yet, but it's coming out. It is a West Coast shaving fine collaboration, fine aqua marine. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna announce another giveaway, so you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that. And what else are we gonna do? I don't know, we're gonna to shave too, if we can manage to fit all that in. Let's start with the razor, the Yaki uh, Slant, which you see here, I'll roll in a couple of pictures there. While I'm talking, again, this is billed as their top aggressive razor, and it says super aggressive, skilled hands only, so we're gonna use that. We're gonna use this with a Persona Med Prep blade, which the inspector sent me. These are made in the USA, and they are about two or three times as expensive as your normal 100 pack. So these are like usually $30, $35 for a 100 pack, whereas Astra's is under $10, so these are very expensive, made in the USA, coated, supposed to be very good. I don't know, we'll find out. We're gonna load it in our Yaki razor. We'll show you the markings on it. There you go, just lightly labeled. You almost can't see it. Just says Persona Stainless Steel, made for hospital use, stamped on the blade. Very difficult to see though. There's our Yaki, which we shall put the blade in. And of course, I'm using the Jurgen Hempel Titanium Handle. Blade is in, let's put the base plate on, screw it down and get a look at what that looks like with the blade in there. And there we go, as you can see, some pretty good blade exposure there, so we'll wish for good luck today with that. By the way, we're gonna be using the West Coast Shaving Synthetic. This is the uh, Honeycomb. I'll roll in a couple of pictures there. I love this brush, usually somewhere around $23 to $25, depending on if it's on sale or not, at West Coast Shaving. Absolutely terrific, I love it. Okay, let us get to the soap. The West Coast Shaving slash Fine Accoutrements Aqua Marine. Comes in a nice box. And there is your soap container, nice plastic container. By the way, this is triple milled soap. And so for those of you who don't know, Triple milled is a process where the soap is pressed and then there are ingredients and additives put in it, then it's pressed again and pressed again three times. So it's sort of concentrated and harder. A lot of people prefer, ah, nice, um, triple milled soap. And I like that Fine has the, the little head, their logo stamped in the, the soaps. I think that's actually uh, pretty cool if you can see that. Uh, the scent on this, let me roll in the, um, West Coast Shape, or actually finds description, because this is not out yet. I'm gonna give you what they say, so if you wanna buy it, you can, if you think it looks uh, intriguing. There's how Fine describes the scent. To me, it definitely comes out like described. It, it does give you that sort of uh, ocean vibe, definitely aqua, there's a, there's a green in it, you know, it just, Lack of a d better term, the way they describe it is, is sort of what I get from the scent. And again, triple milk, I don't know what it cost. I'm gonna try to get the soap out so we can actually uh, lather on it. And so it's a hard puck like this. So again, triple milled, it will probably last longer than your typical soft artisan soap. So sometimes these cost more, but you do have to take into consideration that this is much more lack of a better term, concentrated because it's pressed. So we will go to the bowl here. We'll go ahead and create a preliminary lather so we don't have a 35 minute video. Then we'll come back and start lathering this and talk about it as we go, stay tuned. All right, so what I'm doing here is just picking up some, getting a good load on the brush. And then I'll probably slap this on my face similar to what we did with the uh, Pajit video and uh, clean up my hands as you can see, <laughs> I got Oh, that smells nice. I really like this scent, um, Aquamarine. Again, I think it's coming out like first of March or somewhere thereabouts at West Coast Shaving. I tell you what, the folks at West Coast Shaving, 
in the last seven years, they've changed dramatically, like the way they do business, um, really going out of their way, uh, collaborating with people, doing cool stuff. Like they have those uh, West Coast Shaving House branded heads that is a collaboration with charcoal that's very cool. And they, they've just done, done a number of things that I really like. It is not your old uh, West Coast shaving, let's put it that way. Okay, so let's start lathering. More lathering, less blabbing. Soap feels nice, the brush feels fantastic. And that's what we expect. I really like the uh, West Coast Shaving House brand stuff. I think it's cool, I think it's affordable. We're slinging lather onto my shirt there. <laughs> uh, and generally, I think it's just a cool place. By the way, last number of orders there, super fast uh, shipping. A lot of times they have discounts and sales. So you might want to subscribe to their newsletter if you're not. It is one place that I buy things. So, and that's why I've talked about it so much, particularly these synthetic brushes. It is one of my favorite, their synthetic offerings, as I've mentioned so many times on my videos. Some of my favorite stuff anyway. So we've got the type of lather that I like. And again, I want to mention something. It warrants repeating over and over. Folks, do not concern yourself so much with the way lather looks in pictures and photos, all right? Concern yourself with how the shave goes. If the shave goes great and your lather doesn't look textbook, it's a great lather for you, all right? So that's the way I evaluate lather. I know we all like the, the shave of the day posts and the videos where you know, they have the super silky lather spilling over, and that's great. But the real question is, how did the shave go? And if it went well, you had a great lather. You know, that's the way I look at it. So here we go. All right, we were using the Yaki Slant. Feels pretty good. Blade feels good. You can definitely feel a lot of blade on the face there. There's no question about the fact that it is aggressive. A lot of blade there on the face. So we'll give it the respect it deserves. And you don't have to do anything different, really. Other than I would say, just be mindful of your pressure. You definitely don't want to be digging in with the razor that has a, a lot of blade exposure and so on. So far, it feels pretty good, though. Feels pretty good. No problem. Certainly is aggressive. Uh, and by the way, the cost on this, uh, it is, what is it? Uh, usually around five fifty to 6 I had to get this from AliExpress. It was like $3 shipping, but it was less than 10 bucks to the door of the head. And this one is the gunmetal finish. It was like, you know, maybe $6. Actually, not bad for that first pass. Pleasantly surprised. To me... It feels a little smoother than the night helmet feels, but it could be that I'm liking this blade. I don't know. It's really hard to tell when you're switching things out, you know, so often. But uh, that first pass was terrific. The soap did its job. The razor did its job. Everything did its job. And that's what you want in your shakes. Everything doing what it's supposed to do. And again, try to Stay mindful of what's important with your shave, how the shave went, you know. Less about, now granted, I used to take shave of the day photos. I used to take pictures of phenomenal lathers and stuff, but really what it comes down to is use. Use, how does this stuff work? I'll give you an example. The Pills Razor looked fantastic, but it, and it looked so fantastic that I wanted to love it and I convinced myself that I love it, but every time I shaved with it, secretly I knew <laughs> it wasn't a great shaver for me, but I convinced myself that it was because it just looked phenomenal. And so just be mindful of the way things are working. That's the most important thing. And speaking of the things, the way things are working, I should say, I had a, uh, a fellow ask me how I store my uh, used blades and I'll show you real quick. This is a crystal vodka skull. And in that you can see about 
maybe three, four years of blades. And so it's pretty cool. Just drop them down in there. And you know, it comes with a cork. You can put it in there, but if I put a wet one in there, I usually leave the top off a little bit just because I don't want necessarily a bunch of rusty blades. And so anyway, that's what I use. Crystal vodka, uh, empty skull. It's pretty cool. All right, let's go with our second pass. And by the way, I think uh, it's time to mention that the giveaway this week is being powered by the inspector. <laughs> so there's his photo. So thank you very much, Inspector. Thank you both for the uh, giveaway stuff and the the med prep blade, which is going really well so far. Again, these are not inexpensive blades, you know. I looked them up; they were either thirty or thirty-five dollars for a hundred, and uh, that's that's quite a bit relative to other blades. But it's going great so far, so. We're not going to argue with success here so far anyway, but we won't call it great until it's finished. Let's, you know, let's press forward and see how the shape goes. By the way, I'm letting my head rest another day. I will shave my head in the morning before work um, because that abuse that I put it through on Friday, I posted the video Saturday, but I did that head shave Friday. It needed a... <laughs> A couple of days to rest, so much needed rest for the dome. Okay, let's wet our face a little bit here. Um, before we get to our third pass, let's announce the giveaway powered by the inspector. The giveaway this week is Wake Up. We'll just we're just gonna call it Wake Up. This is the shaving club, shaving shop club aftershave and soap. And if you would like to enter, please uh, make a comment below and just, again, let me know where you're from. It's always nice to see where everybody is from. There's usually good participation in these giveaways, so thank you, thank you very much. And by the way, you must be watching to win. So when I announce the video um, on Saturdays, generally, I announce the, the winner. And if you don't claim your winnings within a week, I will put them back in the queue to be drawn for another time. So I want to make sure that when we're doing these giveaways, we're trying to get them to people who watch the channel and support the channel because that's a thank you to you and thanks so much for the people like Inspector who uh, helps out and all the Patreon supporters and PayPal supporters and the viewers and the people who are sharing content. And by, by the way, let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the soap here. Terrific lathering soap. No problem whatsoever. I have enough lather here to to do a head shave if I want to. The scent on that scent strength um, is, I would say, it's pretty stout. 7.5 to 8. Ingredients I did not show you at the beginning of the video. Let's do that now. Let's roll it in real quick for you while I continue lathering here. So there are your ingredients. Nothing really extravagant there. And also, I want to mention again, this is again, triple milled. And I have heard or been told that this is made by the folks who produce things like tobacco and Irish mousse. So, you know, it's going to be decent quality or good quality, I should say, actually. Um, I'm liking it. It's just a really pleasant, pleasant scent would be the way that I would describe it. And by the way, we're gonna be using the aftershave in the post, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna see how that goes. because I'm really interested to see how the uh, aftershave presents itself. But they're really nice, um, just a nice pleasant scent would be the way I would characterize it. Nothing off-putting for me. And I do like it. I like it a lot, really nice. And of course, it's a good performer. Um, you know, fine products are generally well regarded. I have used fine products, particularly aftershaves for years, and I love them. And as, and as I've said before, I don't like that they raise their prices, but I don't like it when anybody raises their prices, so it's not specific to fine. But I understand, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. But, uh, wow. Yeah, this is an aggressive razor. 
that much is for sure, but we're doing okay with it, so no complaints. It is not as smooth as the Beast. I would say for me, a little bit smoother than the Night Helmet, if you're familiar with those two Yaki heads. I'm almost slipping there. My hand got wet and the razor nearly shot out of my hand. That almost never happens. This is, is definitely one of those heads where it'll let you know the blade is there. More aggressive than the R41, which is usually the sort of a benchmark for efficiency and aggression like being at a, you know, upper level. This one is certainly right there with the Beast and the uh, Night Helmet. I'd have to say my, just on, you know, one use, my favorite of the three Yaki heads so far is the Beast. But this one has done a good job today. So we'll call it a successful shave, but we're not gonna call it yet. So I want you to stick around so we can show you the aftershave and uh, hang tight. And we are back with the magic made by witches. If I can turn that label around for you, there, witch hazel, which is really nice stuff. You see it here every single shave. I need to get some more pretty quick because I'm running out. Let's put some on the dome. Let's let that set for a second while we do a quick review here of what we used. Fine aquamarine. If I can show you the label coming to you soon. Beginning of, be, beginning of March, available at West Coast Shaving. Check them out, and while you're there, check out those synthetics. I really like their synthetics. They also have some house, house brand uh, razor heads that are based on charcoal razors like the Lithe, and they have another one I can't think of the name of. Really good shavers for not a lot of money. I like those a lot. And of course, we're gonna use the aftershave today, but let's show you again the Yaki uh, slant, which you see there. It did a good job. Uh, we managed to, to shave without cutting ourselves or get any irritation, weepers, cuts, creepers, so that's fantastic. West Coast Shaving Synthetic, one of my favorite brushes. I love it. And last but not least, everything's slippery today for some reason. The uh, Fine Aquamarine After Shave comes in a box like so. And out comes the bottle. Looks very nice. Classy. I like the uh, design of the fine. It's just classy, simple, not overdone with a bunch of graphics and stuff like that. I think it's cool. And if I can get the top off. My hands are so slick from that uh, soap. I can't get a grip on anything. All right, let's slap this on and see how we do. Nice restrictor so it doesn't come flying out. Oh, yeah. Burst of citrus. And then you get that green. Oh yeah, let's let's slap some of that on the dome. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. Scent wise, I like it a lot. I obviously I can't tell you how how long it's going to last, but is it type the type of scent I would buy an aftershave? Yes, I like it. I don't know what it's going to cost, but I dig it. Uh, I enjoyed the soap also. So uh, when this comes out, if, if you're interested, it can be found at West Coast Shaving. So thank you, West Coast Shaving, for singing, sending this along for me to show people. And folks, if you think you enjoy it, grab it and take a look at that other stuff while you're there because they really have some great stuff. I want to thank everybody for watching. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, and I am saying you're the boss of your shaves. Till next time, God bless.